What's good, YouTube? You are now tuning in live with Market Gaming, coming at you guys with another episode of Z Fighters. On the last episode, it was it wasn't very productive, much more informative. Just showing how new players will eventually get back into the loop with the older servers um, when it comes to the events. Now, all I really did was talk about the events, and. Uh, as for the end of that video, I kind of panicked because I realized it was just a little bit above 15 minutes and I was like, oh man, I won't be able to upload this because my limit is 15. But I went on YouTube and I and I saw the link that allowed me to go more than 15 minutes. I just had to verify my YouTube account. So I can now upload more than 15 minutes. I'm not sure how long, but I'm not, I'm still going to try to keep them, you know, around 15, maybe a little under, maybe a little more. Just because of my internet connection, I don't think it's the greatest. You know, it's probably it really isn't the greatest, and I just don't <laughs> think that me uploading for three hours is good for my internet, especially when you know, I like using my Wi-Fi as well, and I don't want it to be slow. So this episode, we will be opening up these capsules. I know it's not a lot, but it's about like forty orange ones. 50 blue capsules or blue ones like 54 green ones and just 16 secret capsules You get tons of things from this, you know, it says that you can get gear skills gamuts and mores, but it's really talking about C rank gear B rank skills Never gotten any gamuts from it gotten maybe like 1500 zenny from one <laughs> pretty terrible training potions of course and you have good chances of getting other stuff, but like a rank items and a rank gear maybe but other than that you know let's just open some you know if we do get anything good you know maybe this this is just my lucky account but i don't think we'll get anything too crazy so you open one and they have the option to continue or just open 10 more and i just open 10 more you know you get communicators which you need to go in the chat the holy water the c rank gear more holy water, more training potions, more C rank gear, and more B rank skills. So just pretty much the same old stuff, you know? Ooh, there's any 2000 Zenny. Watch out. So, as you can see, pretty terrible stuff. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And let's open these blue capsules up. And we're getting orange keys, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're getting. Pretty much you'll be seeing a ton of green. Look at that. Mm, look at all that green. So yeah, these these aren't anything special really. But they're a way to get B-ranked skills, which are super useful when you want to upgrade your skills. Green skills. I think green or green capsules are the one you get the most of. And I hate it when they give you more keys because, like, I don't have the capsules for it. And you literally cannot do anything with these. You can't sell them. They're going to make you buy, buy like, blue capsules or blue keys with gamuts. And I've opened maybe thousands of these, and I've never gotten gamuts from this. False advertising or nah? But yeah, secret capsules, I don't know what's so secret about them. I've never pulled anything great, it's just more of the same old stuff, as you can see, boom. We got a couple green keys that we got just from opening other stuff, and we got some more blue keys that we also got within other capsules. So as you can see, terrible, 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 terrible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue this journey. So Krillin dies. We're in the King Piccolo, maybe the World Tournament um, venue, as you can see in the background. And this is when Goku fights King Piccolo because he is our boss. And um, I believe this is the last seven of these seven battles that we we are gonna do. And starting the next one will be eight v eight. So we'll need to be level twenty six in order to three star him. What I did before on previous accounts is to just, when I had the 7v7, I just go through them, you know, get super wins because unless 
my attack all is with a proc and attack the top corner all the time um, I would only get two stars and I'd go to the second round so what I would do is just go through the battles go through the motions and everything like that and then once I finally got the eighth one attack them or battle them and then you know like a couple seconds in you could skip it just so it's a little faster you know things like that um, we're gonna start getting into the story mode where you know it gets increasingly more difficult um, I'm pretty sure once we get to maybe garlic jr that will be you know sweating a little bit we won't oh there's a Goku soul super saiyan that's one of 30 but yeah once we get to um, garlic jr that's when <laughs> We're going to need a miracle. We're going to need like full S rank team. Um, you're going to need like level 80, 85 heroes. You're going to need squad pretty much. Like We're getting towards the harder part of the story where you need like good teams. You need good skills. You need good everything, you know, and it's, it's hard. <laughs> um yeah. Uh, do this called King Piccolo. So this one has 15 battles. We just finished three. Um, if this goes over 15 minutes, then you know the last thing we'll do in this video is um, defeat King Piccolo, and then we'll be done. Each battle takes roughly like a minute, so we have like 12 more minutes of the gameplay. But yeah, as you can see in the the start of each battle you'll see like the green attack up or power or defense up and that's because I equipped all of them with D grade skills I don't know it's uh, it's good you know it's powerful it makes a small difference but you know that small difference can change the type of battle and anytime you see like the the yellow defense and spirit up that's the skill that they came with. So Piccolo has regeneration, and I'm not sure. I think uh, Cell Form 2 has energy absorb, which it's kind of like when Cell would use his tail to suck all the humans and used it to get Android 17. Now, I remember when I first saw Cell in regular Dragon Ball Z. Oh, man. He was, he was a freak. Not even going to lie. And, you know, I thought what he was doing was crazy. <laughs> it was something new, something I, myself, have never seen. And he was just so ruthless. He was a beast. His second form is probably the worst form. You know, he's kind of like, like fat. <laughs> I mean, like he didn't seem like he would be super powerful just because his body was a little more, it didn't look like toned. He just looked more fat than anything. His voice even sounded lightweight chubby. <laughs> I don't know how your voice can sound lightweight chubby, but it kind of did. Like, his voice was deep. Like, the first, his voice, the first version, was kind of like, um, like slimy and like, ugh, I want to beat this dude up. But the second one, it was just, ugh, it's fat sounding. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound cool, but it's exactly what it sounded like. Now, when it came to the third one, he was like a beast, you know. His voice was awesome. His character was cool. And yeah, he was pretty much ruthless. Arguably my favorite uh, saga. Like the Cell Saga the and the Android Saga. Those are my favorite sagas, TBH. A lot of people like the Frieza Saga a lot, the Namek one, but... Mm. there's just so many moments that stand out to me in the Cell Saga and the Android Saga that made me a real big fan of it. Trunks, Super Saiyan Trunks, or Future Trunks, my bad, was cool. Seeing Vegeta go Super Saiyan was awesome. Um, I loved when Final Form Cell destroyed, or um, he didn't destroy, but he brought out the Cell Juniors to destroy the Z Fighters, and the Z Fighters were all getting overwhelmed. You know, except for like Super Saiyan Vegeta, Trunks, 
and maybe Piccolo. That's even what he says, too. <laughs> but yeah, that's just how much I know that series. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I play NBA 2K16, and you can make like your own arena. I call it the Cell Games Arena just because <laughs> it's, that's, I feel like it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> the Android Saga... Uh, when Yamcha dies, or he he doesn't die, but he gets like impaled and struck by Doctor Zero. That was pretty cool. I, I I remember watching the version on TV, and just like um when he gets his mouth held, and it it just like it just goes to his face and it goes blue. But I never saw when Doctor Zero actually like stuck his hand through his like his body until I like saw it on YouTube. And I was like, whoa! That, like that made that moment even more clean like so much sicker and oh man that's probably one of my favorite scenes you know <laughs> i remember when i went on tumblr before and they're like what is this quote and my who said it and it was like it was like i found them and i was like oh i know that and then people were like that's one of like the most epic and yet saddest scenes of all time because if you think about it he says he finds them, and then he pretty much just dies. Or he doesn't die, but he gets his energy taken, and he gets this huge hole in his stomach just from some android impaling him. So, I mean, that's just a little backstory on, you know, my history with Dragon Ball Z. I remember it would be on, like, once a day, like, at 5.30 maybe. And... You know, I didn't know it whether or not it would be like a repeat or it would continue with the story. But, you know, for sure I was watching it all the time. It's fun. You know, I played the PS2 games like Budokai, Budokai 1, Budokai 2, Budokai 3, Budokai Tenkaichi. You know, all those games. You know, I kind of fell off around like Raging Blast and like Ultimate Budokai Tenkaichi. Like, I don't even know what the games are called, but I know it's kind of like a play on each other. And then I picked it up again, you know, about last year, maybe two years ago, when the Battle of Gods movie came out. And I was like, hmm, are there any cool games coming out? So then I saw, like, the Battle of Z. And that game, eh, I just didn't think it was that great. Like, the fighting system wasn't was something new. And, like, I bought it. I played the first battle and I never played it again and just turned it into GameStop because it was like like 15 bucks and I only paid 20 for it so that was it was it was a minus but you know it helped me get Grand Theft Auto <laughs> so yeah but yeah I played Dragon Ball Xenoverse that game is so sick you know I love how you can customize your character and everything like that um, it's just that when you get towards the end and you beat the story. I just don't think there's much to do except grind to try to get the good skills. And, you know, I was the only person playing that amongst my friends. So it wasn't that fun because, you know, playing a game by yourself was so long. And, yeah. So back to the game. Sorry for my little tangent. But, you know, Dragon Ball Z is a fun thing for me. Um, Dragon Ball GT, I tried re-watching it the other day. And just the music was not, did not sound cool. Pan is annoying. Trunks is a cool character. I'm not sure if my video lagged or if you guys even heard anything I just said. Because it showed that my recording thing was lagging. And last time they did this, it skipped over that part. But yeah, the future Trunks, it made him seem like such a badass and so powerful. And then they get to GT and he's a wimp, you know. And I understand that nobody really was training besides maybe Goku and Vegeta. But man, did everybody else in that story get so watered down or what? They definitely did. You know, even Goku wasn't even that strong because he was a kid version. But I don't know. I just think they made everything look so, so bad. You know, Pan was terrible, like I said earlier. But, um... You know, they had some cool villains. So my video stopped recording because I guess I ran out of memory on my laptop. So I cleared some space out. Stuff from 2011, like videos that I've recorded and all that from a different thing I will not talk about. But yeah, so 
this happened, I'll just hit replay. I mean, you saw, I think the last thing you saw was my Android 17 using a spirit sword. And, you know, might as well just watch it again. <laughs> um, it'll be a complete um, same results that you saw in the previous video. So, bam, this is where it last left off. And, yeah, so I'm going to have, I'm, you probably don't know, but I edited these two together. So that it's just one video. So yay, 15 minute longer videos. So yeah, I, mean, I didn't want to just cut it off when right when we we're about to fight King Piccolo. I mean, we're fighting him right now, but it's not the boss. And just one more hit and it'll be done. Perfect win, as you saw this. And then our last battle is a brutal fight between King Piccolo and you can get G Goku Super Saiyan Souls. Goku is one, or Super Saiyan Goku is one of those heroes that you can get just throughout the journey, you know. Same with Android 17, 18, 16, and Bardock. Maybe Kibito. Yeah, those are souls you can get, but it'll take tons of grinding, you know. Goku Super Saiyan is the, is arguably the one where you can get the most out of them. Like, on my main account, there's about... Maybe like six boss battles, so you can do it 30 a day. And, you know, you can try and get them. But, yeah. I already have Super Saiyan Goku on my main account. It's actually one of the first ones I did using the Souls, not knowing that I can get it through the thing. But, you know, it's cool. He's not that great, you know. I mean, he might be good to other people, but in my opinion, his spirit is low. His HP is high, but his attack and defense are just... Are they, they're decent, but without the spirit, without a high spirit, I can't really move some of the stats into his attack and defense, which is just very crucial to me, you know? But yeah. So this is the last blast to take out King Piccolo, and bada bing, we did it. Close this. Get 10 more first strike. Oh yeah, I won! Master Roshi, Krillin, I have avenged you both. What? How are you able to defeat me? You really have impressive strength. I swear my son will revenge me. Blah. And that's when he spits out the egg. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My little tangent on Dragon Ball Z, the anime series. But yeah. Bye.